good morning all uh, so what we will be doing today is we'll be talking about uh, joint venture now what is this joint venture when i say a joint venture joint venture is basically when more than two people come in to start a business with a specific objective so there are two people coming together for a specific objective and to share profits and losses now if i am a individual i'll be looking at it as how is it different from a partnership accounts see when i say a partnership accounts partnership also is done for a specific objective profit and losses two people coming together but one of a bigger challenge with a joint venture is the time for which the joint venture works is going to be specific that means there is going to be only a specific period this is going to be violating my going concern concept so going concern concept gets violated under a uh, joint venture as such now let us take some examples of the joint venture let's say a and b come together and they decide let us do a sports event now this venture is only meant for what the sports event they'll share the expenses and whatever profit they get they will be sharing it equally now the venture which both these two individuals start we call it as joint venture and a and b we call it as co venturers so a and b will be known as co venturers and the venture together we call it as the joint venture clear now how does this entire concept of joint venture work now see here a and b now a would have incurred some expense b would have incurred some expense finally some sale happens what will be the profit whatever is the revenue i will reduce it with my expenses incurred by a and b that becomes the profit of the venture then why is it so difficult in terms of a joint venture compared to partnership accounts now i'll give a very simple example to give an overview of how the joint venture works theoretically or even let's say practically and then we can look into it from an accounting person let's say a and b they decided to do an exhibition they decide to do what an exhibition now what did they decide in the exhibition is that b will do the sales a will organize it so b will be in charge of sales and a will be the person who will be organizing it now the expenses will be shared sorry not the expenses the profit will be shared equally between a and b now let us go one step further to understand what happens now c b is the one who's collecting the proceeds of the sale now what b will do b will a and b put together will calculate the profit of the venture now profit of the venture i told you is going to be what all my revenue minus expenses incurred by a and b all my revenue and expenses incurred by a and b now once you find out the profit what b will do is from the sales 
he will reduce his share of profit he will reduce his share of expense and transfer the balance to a so this is how we find out your first question which is going to be asked is how much should b remit to a this pretty much is like a a uh, consignment itself where the consignee is going to be taking care of his commission and also his expenses and transfer the balance to b now comes the second part now now how does accounting work now in terms of an accounting there are in terms of accounting there are two ways an accounting does one they maintain a separate they maintain separate books of accounts for the joint venture or no separate books are maintained so there are two ways accounting is done one where they maintain separate books of accounts second one no separate books of accounts are maintained now when no separate books of accounts are maintained or when i say when the separate books of accounts are maintained what is going to be the difference so first let's look into the separate books of accounts now when i say separate books of accounts what happens you will be maintaining one is the joint bank account now what will be in charge of for making sure all the payments and receipts are taken care then you will have your jv account which will maintain your revenue and your expense this is majorly like your trading account finally you will maintain the co venturers account you will maintain the co venturers which is basically like your partners capital account so when i am saying separate books of accounts there are three books i'll be maintaining first one is what joint bank account second one is what jv account and the third one is going to be your co venturers account now let us look into the journal entries what happens i am maintaining separate books of account i told you three books are maintained joint book joint bank co venturer and the joint venture accounts now i'll to make our lives easier i'll compare the partnership accounts with uh, the joint venture accounts so that we understand how it works simultaneously for both now let's just look into the entries of it now when the co venturers co venturers they decide to bring some money into the bank now separate entity concept what is that we would have generally passed in partnership accounts in the partnership accounts i would have passed it as bank account debit to partners capital the same thing in the jv structure it becomes joint bank account debit to instead of partner it becomes co venturers account 
when are we passing it when the co venturers bring or contribute money to the bank towards the joint venture now let's come to the second part of it now expenses incurred by the joint venture now if expenses are incurred by the joint venture what do we do it we pass all the entries to my joint venture so it will become joint venture account debit to joint bank account joint venture account debit to joint bank account why do we pass this this is basically passed to keep a track of all the expenses incurred this i told you is more like my trading account now let's say if expenses are paid by the co venturers directly expenses are paid by co venturers directly now when expense is paid by the co venturers directly now look into it is it an expense for the joint venture the answer is yes so it will become jv account debit to whichever co venture is spending co venture because the venture becomes liable to pay to the joint pay, uh, to the co venturers for the expenses what they have incurred on it now let's say the next one if there is money received on sale money received on sale then money is coming into the account it will be joint bank account debit to whatever the sale is will go to the jv account so if you see the difference what we are doing is for all my expenses i was debiting my jv account for all my incomes i am crediting the jv account so they i don't have anything called a particular purchase or sale everything gets credited finally you will find out the profit by making the jv account whatever profits or sale is there sorry profit or loss there it's going to be shared between all the venturers account